Well, hello. This is AJ and I'm connecting with my father-in-law because he has an issue with his car. And he's gonna explain what's going on and I will find out how I can hopefully help him. So stay tuned. Okay, my father-in-law called me over because he has a problem with his car. So what's your problem, John? Well, it's not so much a problem with the car, it's a problem with the finish that was left on there after I washed the car. And it ended up with a lot of dull spots all over it. You can kind of see them in there and up on the hood here. There's a lot of bugs and stuff, so I mixed put some Dawn dishwashing soap in there, mixed it with water, sprayed it on the car, and used a brush to brush it off. And you can see up on the hood there how really bad it is. You can see right here? Yeah, that area there. Okay. So I'm hoping that uh, AJ's Norwex products are going to be able to take care of that and get rid of that dull glaze off of there and make the car shine again. So you asking me to hand wash your car right now, John? Sure, yeah, if you would. I don't mind washing a car because with Norex, it makes it so easy to wash cars. So let me get my two products once again, my Norex car cloth and my Norex car mat. And I will put this in shade and wash it and hopefully we can get this car shining like new. So I will show you the final results. All right, what I'm gonna do is my uh, Norex car mat right here. Get it wet. It's the car cloth. I'm just gonna use the same bucket of water. Nothing special. The first thing you do is always just start like with your windows and then work your way around the car. So just hand wash your windows. And also you have the you have two sides to this. You have the nubby side and you have the smooth side. This is more like the scrubby side, and this is more like the polishing side. Kind of like waxing. So so all you do is just go over your windows and stuff first, and then by the time we do this car, it should have no streaks on the windows. It should be clean, and all the um, hopefully the soap will be remo removed with this microfiber product. It doesn't need Windex or anything because this, these two cloths alone will replace Windex and all that other stuff. What's the gray cloth, AJ? The gray cloth is kind of like your chamois. Okay. So, back in the day, you used to have that cowhide chamois. And this is like the replacement of that now. And what's that called? It's called the car cloth. Car cloth. Yep, Nord's car cloth. Okay. And you just use that on the window or on everything? You can use it. You can just, this is more for the windows. Okay. It, I mean, everything. You, you can use this on your car. Okay. Because it won't scratch your car. Okay. But if you use like the Enviro cloth, it can damage your, your car. So do not use an Enviro cloth. Only use a car mat on your car. You'll see how this works out once I'm done. But I'm not using any soap, it's just strictly water. And for me, I don't think soap's really good for your car. And the reason being is because um, you have, um, I think soap attracts more dust. Maybe that's why we got streaks, huh? Yep and, if, yep, and I think if you just use natural cleaners, like just water, your car will be a lot cleaner. It stays cleaner a lot longer. We had a neighbor in Mason City who had a lot of collector cars. He only used water on his. It makes a huge difference, but yeah. John can see you have a scratch right there, but, but so far I think it's looking better than what oh, yeah. it was. Oh yeah. Way better. I didn't even pre-wash the car. I just grabbed my bucket that's over there and just put this grain car mitt into the bucket. So you don't even have to rinse it first or nothing? Nope, stick it in water and rinse it. What if your car is real dirty? You just keep rinsing it. Huh. I mean, you can pre-rinse your car if you want to, to yeah. save time, but it goes to show if your car is not like really muddy, you don't have to um, pre-rinse it. Yeah, 
pre pre rents it. Yeah. I'm missing spots, but I'll come back. Okay. So I still see some self residue, but yeah, there's some up there on the the hood yet, but for the most part, most of it's cleaned off there pretty good. Just using water and your great. your scrubby mitt thing. Uh, whatever. What is that, is that your car mat? Car mat. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you can call it scrubby mat, yeah. but the correct name is Norwex car mat. Norwex <laughs> car mat. I constantly flip my hand through this. First, I start off with this side, then I'll flip it over and put it's it on this side. side huh? Yeah. Uh, when you start out, the gray one, is that dry or do you get it wet? The gray one's dry. I used to start it out wet, but you don't have to because it'll get wet eventually. Yeah. And I just wring it out, just keep using it. So it's like a chamois. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, it's looking a lot better. Let's see what's going on. I might have to, as usual, I got to go back around and see what I missed but the main thing is that um I noticed the film is has been removed more so it's pretty nice over here so if you're using Windex no, no. stop using that for me I think Windex leaves that filmy residue on it if you don't believe me you can um, compare this to Norwex or Viral Cloth. And on a, a lot of videos, we do like the butter demonstration. And they'll have someone try to clean a window with butter with just a paper towel and. You put, butter, put butter on the glass? Yep, and then they'll take forever. Then they'll use Norwex and get it off easy. Norwex. And microfiber, it's really good, it's different, it's unique from any other thing because of the silver that's embedded into our cloths. It's patented, and um, what you pay is what you're gonna get. So if you pay five dollars and you think it's a bargain, it's not a good bargain, I'm telling you folks, because I was just like you watching this video with my arms folded, and then um, once I started trying these products, I seen the results and I was truly amazed with the, the results of uh, the product so I'm the type of salesman if I don't believe in something I'm not gonna sell it to you yep. so I'm gonna stand behind this product and tell you that's a it's a good great buy for you well it's definitely doing a better job than my Dawn dishwashing liquid and the scrub brush did so what, what do you notice different from before then, John? Well, right now I don't see that haze on there. It's shiny. It's shiny again. And the thing that I like about these two cloths too is um, the car is cleaner for a lot longer with just water in these two cloths. Wow. Now look at that. What an awesome job. Amazing, isn't wow. it? Beautiful. The sky is reflecting right off the finish now. Norwex scrubbing mitt and the, the gray cleaning cloth That's and water. water. No There's soap. One bucket of water. One bucket of water. Same bucket. There it is. It doesn't even look dirty. <laughs> that is Those so miracle nice. fibers in that Norwex cleaning cloth really does the trick. Nice and shiny. Well, AJ, turn it back over to you. Thank you, John and Sheila, for allowing me to do your, your clean your car. Most people in general would be like, oh my gosh, it's a burden. But with Norwex, I know it's easy to do. And it only took me about 25 minutes. And if I had a Fitbit or an Apple Watch, I would have burnt probably, I'm guessing, about 175 calories. So what other way can you get exercise, have a clean car, and save the environment? I just want to say thank you for your time. Leave a comment in the box below. And you guys have a great day. Bye.